All right, so if you're listening to this, then <clears throat> you're in luck because we'll be talking about the poems that are going to be <clears throat> on the test today or on your final exam. So it's actually going to consist of three, three poems. And the first we're going to look at is this one, Visiting the Museum of Modern Art. Okay. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to annotate by my annotations and by talking about the poem itself. Uh, you should find all the answers that you need for the test. All right. So, first things first, visiting. That means there's an invitation to enjoy art. And we know that it's, it's art because it's the Museum of Modern Art. Okay. So, it starts off by saying, <clears throat> A rush of museum visitors swirl past me as I sit on the floor, like a rock in a river, to study the painting. I'm the only one who stopped. Right here, we see a simile, all right? But he, and I'm just using this pronoun he, is studying the painting. And he's going against the current. Like everybody else is swirling past him. He's going against the current. Uh, when you go against the current, that means you're doing something different that nobody else is doing. You're kind of doing your own thing. Uh, he's going against the current of those who rush past it. And it could be art, could be life, could be any one of those things, all right? So he's, he's kind of talking about a bigger thing, okay? So then we get to this second um, stanza. I really like this one. Listen, a spill, symbols, cacophony, sputters, and spins pulling me pulling my eye down on the canvas of the strange, mesmerizing painting. A cacophony is like a loud sound. Okay, so you kind of have to know that. But to me, this is all chaos, like chaos in the, in, in, in the painting. But it's like a chaos that is inviting. It's like, think of like a circus where there's like a million things going on and it, it, it all together makes this beautiful thing. So everything's loud. So then, in this third stand, <clears throat> we see a break because we have this loud chaos and crazy. And it says, hidden in the bottom corner, a clue, a hint, a surprising shadow. I catch my breath, feeling as if I received an invitation to another world or an other world. He says it right there, invitation. To step into the painting. Now this is, of course, figurative. I mean, the guy's not really gonna step into the painting, but he's asking you to look deeper into the painting, right? Look into it and, and see what's going on, okay? Uh, how is this possible? How did the artist beckon me inside an open door? Again, we get a literal interpretation, open door invitation. I feel as if I'm all alone in the museum walking across a threshold. That's another invitation, but this one's more figurative. Okay, come into the painting. Stepping into a space I've been before. Suddenly I'm seeing a crush of crowded subway train, a sparrow beating against a window pane, rubber ducks and roller coaster rides, my grandmother's old house, a long lost dog, a wind up frog I've nearly forgotten. These are all memories that evoked by the painting. He sees these things. He, he starts to think of these things because of the painting. The painting is, is making these things happen, right? So he's starting to, starting to see these things. The guard tells me to move along. The museum is closing. I leave knowing I'll be back tomorrow to step inside the mysteries of the painting titled You Decide. Okay. So the painting is what you make of it. Right, the painting's what's main. Uh, the point is this, okay? 
It's an inspired tone. Towards immersing yourself into quality art. Right? It's inspirational. It wants you to find the beauty in art. It wants you to find all these things. And it's invoking these memories and inviting you to become part of this. All right? So this is the first one. Uh, there's two more. And then that's it. But if you do this, if you read this, if you listen to this, then you should have no problem with the test. All right, poem two.